Hi, I'm Sheba and together with my mum we run reception here at Animals in Distress. We are a rescue and rehoming centre in South Devon and we rehome over 600 cats, dogs, rabbits and guinea pigs every year. At the moment we're pretty full at the centre. We're looking after 165 animals who are trying to find a new forever home. And there are more than 90 waiting still to come in. It's like that all year round. As soon as we find a new home for one animal, another one arrives. We've been helping animals on this site for 20 years, so there are a lot of buildings that need redevelopment. We're going to meet some of my friends now who will show you around. Oh look, here's one now. It's Lucy. She came to Animals in Distress as a stray and now she helps her mum do the fundraising here. Hi there, my name's Lucy and I'm going to show you the stray kennel where I first stayed when I got to Animals in Distress. It isn't very nice, but I was really grateful to be here because my previous owners were really horrible to me. They made me have too many puppies and they didn't look after me. My eyes, ears, and gums were infected, and I was really hungry. I had never played before, and I smelled really bad. I was pretty scared when I first got here, and this kennel is a bit frightening. There are lots of people walking by, and noises that I didn't understand. Also, it isn't very comfortable, and I know it's hard for the staff to keep really clean. But this is the first place I was ever treated with love, and my life is amazing now. Here's David. He's the kennel manager. Hi, I'm David. I'm kennel manager here at Animals in Distress. The reason we've been doing a lot of work on site, we've built a new rabbit house, we are partly through redoing our factory, um, and now it's time to turn our attention onto the kennels. With the help of support adoption for pets, we'll be looking to redo our stray kennels, our isolation and our admissions kennels. The two stray kennels we have on site, along with our isolation and our admissions kennels, haven't been touched in the refurbishment works. We are planning to redo our kennels, and it is essential for the intake of all dogs to the centre that we can redo them. In the current state, they are difficult to keep clean, they are cold, they are uninviting, they are dark, and the environment affects the dogs and the way that they behave when they arrive. With the help of Support Adoption for Pets, we can completely redesign these kennels. We can make it a safe, loving, warm environment for these dogs that are arriving with us. And in the long run, we can help these dogs to move on from whatever past they've had and it will help them settle much quicker in our care. It will enable us to do much better assessments and a much clearer picture of each and every dog. This is a very bare basic requirement for us. We need to provide these dogs with the level of care that they deserve. Hi, I'm Forrest. I was too scared to stay in the stray kennels, so now I'm in admissions. It's falling to bits, but the staff still take great care of me. It would be awesome if Support Adoption for Pets could help rebuild the stray kennels, admissions, and the isolation unit. That way, when new dogs come to animals in distress, they can feel comfortable and safe straight away. Once the dogs arrive down the main kennels here at Animals in Stress, it's a very different situation. It's a warm, loving, vibrant place where they get time to spend with their friends and spend time out and about with staff, volunteer dog walkers, and it's just a much more loving environment for them in comparison to our current stray, isolation and admissions kennels. With the help of Support Adoption for Pets, we'd be able to alter this. The dogs would arrive into a much more conducive environment which would help them to adjust to life and rescue. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and please vote for us. We could really do with helping the hundreds of dogs a year that come through our doors.